You must marry your stepson, Rodrigo, to Maria de Los Angeles. And the money stays in the family. And all we have to do is to start to treat Maria de Los Angeles as if she were a queen. And then, a little at a time, we lead her to marrying Rodrigo. The ranch will always be yours. Do you think he'll accept her? First of all, Rodrigo is already head over heels with that girl. And secondly, Rodrigo doesn't have the guts to go against my wishes. He'll do whatever I say. This plan is completely foolproof. Well, my heart betrayed me. This sad heart is so tired of the loneliness and the pain. And now, I don't want to live. I don't want to live anymore. I don't. No. I hope that my profound faith in God will help me. Please forgive me, my God. And I hope when we see each other, it will be good. you do? Papa! Okidia, oh, Andrea! Okidia! Oh, Listen, Benito. I want you to find out all the business arrangements that Okidia oh, Cordova Escalante has with the mayor. Everything. Absolutely everything. Mm-hmm. That's all, everything that she owes the government. Rights to operate, land and building rentals as well, and taxes on the rents. I'm going to follow her, shadow her every footstep until she suffers a heart attack. <laughs> Very good, boss. I like the sound of that a lot. And all the favors she asks of the mayor's office, refuse them all on any pretext. 
Blame it on Pedro Sifanti, the ex-mayor, if you like. I don't mind at all. Mr. Mayor, I'm already on this case. Because I know you weren't just going to sit back and let anyone steal that ranch off you, especially not Orchidia. Bring you peanuts. Mm. And I've already found a few things we can begin to push with her. For example, Benito? Well, that land she took for the sugarcane. And she uses it for manufacturing, for juice and liquor. Mm. Well, she has her land, but she also took 15 other acres that don't belong to her. Oh, really? I see. That land is municipal. In other words, it isn't hers. Very good. You organize a bulldozer to drive over to that stolen land and burn down and destroy everything on that site. If the land's not hers, the land's not hers, and that's that. That's not all, boss. There's more? There certainly is. Listen. Mm. Firstly, she built a dam to give herself water. But it is illegal to take water away from poor village farmers. Ah, that's what she did. Well then, Benito, you get over there and take 10 kilos of dynamite and blow a hole right through the lady's dam. City Hall, Punta Lana. Yes, it's the mayor's office. Who's that? One moment, madam. For you. Who is it? Speak of the devil. Orchidia. Mm hmm. Hello? Orchidia. My goodness, Orchidia. I can't believe it. Well, I'll be with you in one hour. No, Orchidia. Give me one hour to solve that. Ah, Orchidia. I'm very sorry. Yes. What other dirt have you found out about Orchidia, Benito? Ah, right. Well, she has a market stall. It's very popular. It's a general provisions type of place, and it's on municipal land, not her own private land. And if she's never bought it, neither has she paid any rent for it. Tell her to quit it, okay? Because she has to pay for it or get out. Is that clear? Hurry, so when do I do it? Right now. Do me a favor, will you, Benito? I want you to call Victoria. Uh -huh. I want her to send an ambulance, which is fully equipped. I want her to send it to Orchidia because her husband has had a stroke. He needs to go to Caracas. And Benito, I want the very best attention for her and her family. Boss, one minute you tell me to go out there and destroy Orchidia, and the next minute I have to treat her like a queen? Did I ever say anything about stopping loving that woman, Benito? Hmm? All I want to do is whip her about a bit for what she did to me over my hacienda. But if I could kiss Okidia to death right now, I would do so. It's what I want. Now set about destroying her. Got it, boss. We'll be in touch, huh? Yes. <sighs> my God. This love of my bosses. It'll destroy him. First he stabs her, then he kisses her. After that, another stabbing. Then another kiss. What a crazy look. Rodrigo found him in his office. He thought he'd fainted, but he's holding a gun. Was that suicide? That's what I think. Joachim. What is it? A cerebral hemorrhage. We need to rush him over to Caracas. There's nothing I can do for him. I don't even know how bad the hemorrhage is. Is he going to live, Doctor? We're going to put him into intensive care, my dear child. And we'll do everything we possibly can, you can be sure. Rodrigo and Andrea, you go with your father in the ambulance. I'll go with Radames. Excuse me, listen. Try to do the grieving wife role with a little bit more conviction. Even though you don't feel it, Think of Andrea. It's her father. And Rodrigo as well. Since when were you eligible to give me classes in morality and spirituality?
Rodrigo. Go with Radames. I'll go in the ambulance. Rodrigo. Hmm. Angeles, you've been my daughter. But maybe I was a fool to imagine you really were my daughter. And I forgot you've grown up now. No more a child, a young woman. I should have realized that would happen. You're a woman now. You need to make your decisions. Don't. Please don't leave us, Maria. You can't leave us, Maria de Los Angeles. I couldn't stand the pain if you ever left us. Yes, of course you can. You've done it before. Lots of girls have left the convent over the years. You're used to it. No, no. it's not the same. It's more difficult. With you, we feel you're our personal family. Can't you understand? <laughs> Please just relax. It'll be all right. I'm not leaving the country. I'm not going to die, am I? Let's drop it before I'm reduced to a slithering puddle of guilt, okay, sister? I'll get the door. Yes. It'll be all right. Hello. Hello. You're here? What do you want? To talk to you, Marie de Los Angeles. It's urgent and would be better done in private. Isn't this voodoo man ever going to get off my back? He follows me everywhere. I'm fed up. Don't you have anything better to do with your life? Than follow you all the time? No. Hmm. I think not. Very well. Tell me what it is, quickly. In private, please. OK. Go on, dear. Thank you. OK, excuse me. Thanks. Uh-huh. What do you want? Open your hands and close your eyes. Come again? Listen, get on with it. Just tell me what it is. Open your hands and close your eyes. I'm sure you really want to know what I'm going to give you. Hmm? I'm not going to open my hands because I don't want to. I want you to go. Jesus, be quiet. Quiet. This is your last chance. Open your hand. Open it. And close your eyes. Hmm? There you go. Can I open it now? The eyes, yes. Your hand, no. Well, I want to. Uh-uh. Impossible. And why not? Because I put a scorpion in your hand, and if you open it, it'll <gasps> bite. It'll bite. <gasps> Take it away! Take it away! Take it away! Please don't do this! Don't! I'm terrified! Take it away! Please take it away! Take it away! Take it away from me. Are you crazy? What do I do if it bites me? Take it away Don't from me. Don't get excited or open your hand or it will bite you. Scorpions have a long tail and if you open your hand, it'll stretch itself out and then stick its little stinger right into you. And it'll bite you like a machine gun. Pow, 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 pow. At least seven times in one second, you know. What can I do? Just don't leave me here. You can't do anything. Be careful. This is a killer scorpion. Its bite is lethal and death is slow and painful. The poison rises up your arm and that's it. No. You're such a scumbag. <laughs> I know. And you're stupid too. That's true. And you're a layabout. No, no, that I refute. That's Rodrigo. He's a professional. Huh? I'm a scorpion trainer. Did you know that? Can't you see I'm dying of fear? Take this horrible animal away! Let's make a deal. Let's make a deal. Give me a kiss on the lips. Mm. I'm going to punch your face in! Well, be careful the scorpion doesn't bite you. Oh, you stupid idiotic, a complete hey. moron! Hey, come, hey. hey! What's going on here? Search me. She's gone really strange. This imbecile has put a scorpion in my hand. Let it go. No, oh, it'll bite, it'll bite! Oh, dear, my poor child. <laughs> if it was going to bite, it would have. Put it down, put it down. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> A little piece of glass. You think you're so funny with your childish tricks. I'm going to punch your head. Wait a second. It's not a piece of glass. 
It's a real diamond, ladies, I promise you. With this diamond, you could buy yourself a whole herd of donkeys like that old nag Rodrigo gave you. Go on, take it. Take it. Go to the racetrack with a decent horse. Not with that bag of bones that cretin gave you, that you think is wonderful. I know who you are. You're the young man who came here recently and started telling the girls all those weird stories. Ah, and you're the nun who has that terrible constipation. I brought you some fresh herbs. They'll make you regular as a Swiss watch. <laughs> now, look at this diamond. Come on. Buy yourself some good horses. Take that old nag he gave you to the circus. They can feed it to the tigers for a snack. I'm going to teach you a lesson now. Not again. Take your present. I'm no expert in diamonds, but I suspect this is a genuine raw diamond. Mm -hmm. I mean, a real one. And if it is real, it's worth a fortune. I want you to know that I know how to give presents. And since you're going to have money left over, you can go and get yourself some new diapers. Hey, oh, you clown, I'm going to kill you! No, come oh, on! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come I can't stand the way you always try to humiliate me! No, my child. If this really is a genuine diamond, he's not a bad man. Well, we should find out about it. It could be worth a lot. Maria de Los Angeles, what brings you here? I need to ask you something. What is it? Uh, look. I'm told this piece of stone may be precious. What is it? They say it's a diamond, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> what do you think, Ahelia? Yes, it's an uncut diamond. Is it yours by any chance? No. What makes you think it's mine? Uh, it was given to me by Jorge de la Rosa. And if it is real, then like everybody says, well, he must have stolen it and he was a guest here, wasn't he? What makes you think he's the sort of man who'd steal something from anybody? Well, he's a nobody. A vagabond. And he's always playing jokes on me, so he could easily be tricking me or, or be a thief. <laughs> well, in that case, I recommend you find... Uh, someone who knows about these things, an expert in the field. A jeweler, it shouldn't be difficult. I'll do that. Mommy! I'm home! How are you doing? Hi, sweetheart. Tired? Mm. How are you? Did you get the shoes I wanted? Of course. Hello, Marie de Los Angeles. Oh. Here they are. I hope you like them. I will. Mama. Well, excuse me, everyone. I'll be leaving. Thank you very much for your advice. Maria de Los Angeles. No need to go yet. I, well, I got you. I got something for you, too. Here. I hope you like it. A present from me? But why? Open it. Open it. It's exquisite, but why? Very nice, Mama. Are you losing your mind? How come you're not buying expensive presents for this woman who we barely know? Alba Griselda, I beg you. Don't be so rude. And furthermore, I'll buy presents for whomever I like, whenever I like. Is that clear? Yes. Then keep this rubbish. <gasps> I don't want them. And most likely, this pathetic little orphan will add them to her hole. Albert Griselda, come here at once. Come here. I'm sorry. Mrs. Rosalinda, I'm sorry about this. Please take this present back. It's better. No, I gave it to you. Today, because today is your birthday. What? No, no, it's not today. My birthday's in three days. No, my dear. Your birthday is today. Yes. 
Yes, it's true, my love. Your birthday is today. Allow me to wish you happy birthday. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say this, but it isn't today. It's in three days. And anyway, how... How would you know if it was today? You see, your behavior about this is pretty unnerving. And I hope I don't offend you, but you frighten me. Maybe I should stay away from you. There's something too spooky about the way you seem to know everything about me. My dear, no, you do know that I don't have a family of my own. I don't even know the woman who gave birth to me. I and you know that's what I want. But why do you taunt me like this? You know, I don't want you to call me your daughter. I don't want you to call me anything. Because you make me feel as if you could be my mother. And even if it sounds crazy, I would find it painful. Too terrible to cope with. If you really were my mother and had kept quiet about it for all this time. No, dear child, don't say these things. Don't be unfair to Mrs. Rosalinda. She just wanted to give you a, a birthday present. I swear I don't want to hurt you either. But please tell me. Yes, please tell me. Why are you so convinced that today is my birthday? Because only someone who knew everything, absolutely everything about my life, could be sure of that. Mrs. Rosalinda isn't feeling very well just now. I'd better take her to her room. No. The time has arrived. When I... When I have to tell her the truth. But... Maria de Los Angeles really needs... An explanation. She needs the truth, and I'm gonna tell it. Come with me. I have to tell you this. I do know today is your birthday. Because I know from Father Zenon. He told me from his hospital bed. He told me. Told me. So do you know this man? And he, yes, he, he knows who my parents are. Well, I do know Father Zenon very well. But he didn't tell me anything about that. But when I told him that I had met you, Maria, he, he, he told me that I should look after you and care for you very well, as if I really were your mother. And, well, uh, I... If I went too far with that gift, giving you that little thing with all my best wishes for your birthday, well, I... I was just trying to do my best. It happened just because I... Many times... I feel a weight in my grieving heart. And it hurts me. It causes me pain that I ever lost my daughter. You know that I lost my daughter. But it's only because of that and that I know you feel lonely that I thought I could offer comfort to you and help you. Maybe I could guide you on your way. You don't have your own mother with you. <laughs> Oh, my dear. No, I do feel very tired. Very tired. <laughs> Indeed, I think I need to go to my room. Ahelia, Ahelia one moment, go. one moment. Just give me one moment with you, please. I'm sorry I was so unfair to you just then. I didn't mean it. Please do forgive me for it. Don't leave me without forgiving me. <laughs> God forgive me.
forgive me for upsetting you so much. I couldn't help it. I just couldn't control myself, my dear. Please, please, take this little gift here. I got it for you. Accept it, please. Don't think I'm trying to interfere in your private life, Maria de Los Angeles. I just want you to let me love you in the way I'm doing because it gives me so much pleasure. Mrs. Rosalinda, I totally trust you. And I just ask you, take me immediately to this clinic in Caracas where Father Zenon is. I desperately want to talk to him. Oh dear, did I forget to mention it? You won't be able to talk to him. He isn't at that clinic anymore. He just passed away. Father Zenon really dead? No. I moved him to another clinic. She will never be able to find him. Oh, get out of here! You're always trailing me, judging everything I do, and I won't have it anymore. I have to lie to her or I'll go insane. If I didn't lie to myself and to my daughter, I would completely lose my grip on life. I couldn't stand the pain every day delivers. I couldn't face this appalling agony. I couldn't face the agony. I couldn't face it. And I couldn't face my disgusting self either. I couldn't face it. is stable, but very delicate. The danger is a repeat attack, which would be very dangerous. It would mean we would have to operate on him. We're running a brain scan for more information. It'll give us a clearer picture as to the extent of the damage. Oh, God, please, Doctor, I beg you to save my father. Save him, please, I beg All you. All right, I love him so Andrea, much. calm down. Please, please, please calm down. down. The doctor's doing his best. Please calm down, yeah. you? Doctor, when will you have more information? I can't really say. We need to be patient, Rodrigo. Your father's recovery will be very, very slow. The brain is one of those organs that doesn't grow any more cells once it, the old ones die. It's irreversible. Ogelia, could I speak to you in private for a moment, please? Take care. <laughs> Ogelia. I am very good friends with the owner of this, this hospital, this clinic, huh? I built part of this building for him, and if you like, I can have a word with him about extending a line of credit to you. In fact, I can help you with anything you want me to. Thanks very much, but that won't be necessary. I have more than enough money to purchase this entire hospital if it were necessary. How would you raise it? by destroying all their equipment. So they would sell it to you for peanuts the same as you did to me with my hacienda? A fool is not somebody who buys at a good price. A fool is someone who sells low to a fragile and defenseless woman like me. Fragile and defenseless? <laughs> oh no, Orchidia. You're mightier than a nuclear submarine. And more dangerous than a raccoon let loose at a hen house ball. <laughs> oh. Excuse me. Go ahead. Huh? <clears throat> Hello? Okay, yeah. Yes, Bernardo, what is it? You must come back home immediately. 
But that's impossible. Vladimir's condition is very critical. You know that. Well, the condition back here is even more critical. What do you mean, dynamite? Okay, I'll be right there. Don't worry. I'll leave here as soon as I can. Yes, okay. <clears throat> hey, problem, my precious? You might well ask. Meaning? You look distressed, so naturally I'm concerned. Don't I have that right? Well, I suspect that my problem is you. Let me warn you right now, Radamus Basanta, that I'm better at war than at peace. So be careful what you do to me, my friend. I don't need to remind you that I'm not the one with a weak brain. Hello. Oh, hello. hello. <laughs> How can we help you there, miss? Huh? What can we do? What, what can, can I do, do for you? you? Listen, I want to know how to go about having that thief of a witch doctor arrested. And what are the charges that you have against this thief of being a witch doctor? No, no, no. I don't care if the man's a witch doctor or not. Mm. What happened is he stole this little piece of glass that I have here. I've been oh. told it's a real diamond worth a million bolivars. Oh. And I know this man doesn't have that much money to his name and certainly not to give it away. Oh. And what's the name of the man involved? Jorge. Jorge de la Rosa. C -c -c can I swap this little piece of glass with you for this little piece of dog? Genuine dog. No. <laughs> no, no, no. All I want to know is if it is a real diamond or not. I think... I think the only one who can say whether this is a diamond or a worthless piece of glass is my friend the Spaniard. But he lives quite a way out and we'd have to walk over there. It's right, let's go. Take me to see your friend who knows all about diamonds. I'm ready. Huh? All, all right. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Excuse okay. me. Right, right. Enough. Thank you. Come let's on, go. Let's go on. Stop right. trying to bother everybody with a right. dog. Nobody wants to. That's why I'm asking you if I can leave the hospital, Doctor. Well, all I can say at this point about your husband's condition is that we're running lots of tests on him. And it'll be a few more days before we know anything. It'll take us that long before we have a clear picture of his prognosis. And I don't think there's anything more you can do that you're not already doing, Mrs. Orchidia. So, if you have to go, fly out and do your business and return as soon as you can. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Well, if you need anything special, just let me know and I'll do what I can. Well, there is something I'd like, and that's blood donors for him. Just in case we have to perform surgery, we'd need plenty of blood for his blood group. So, if anybody here would like to volunteer, well... Uh, I'm willing to give blood, Doctor. Take as much as you think you'll need. Thank you. Yeah, me as well. Doctor, it will be my pleasure to donate however much blood you need. You can count on me. It's All just right, fine. then. Let's get the forms organized so I can authorize I the transfusions. I have to go. I, I need to get back as fast as I can to Punta Lana. I've got lots to do. Orchidia. <sighs> Try to look a bit sad. At least pretend that you love this poor man. After all, you took all his money. You might as well have taken his blood. It would be nice if you could donate some blood before you go, huh? Well, I don't have it in me to be quite such an accomplished hypocrite as you can be sometimes. You've spent 20 years telling poor Rosalinda that you're in love with her when you're really in love with me. I've never told Vladimir that I love him. And so whether he dies or whether he lives, I won't lose any sleep over it. I have to go, dear. I've got things that I need to attend to that just can't wait any longer. You stay here and watch over him. I won't be away a moment longer than I must. And don't forget he needs you now more than he's ever needed you before. Bye, darling. I'll be back before you know it. Take care. See you, Mama. Mama. Okay. This is worth more than, more than a million bolivars. Oh. Must weigh more than two carrots. It's worth a fortune. Well, let's celebrate by tucking into a nice hunk of smoked ham, huh? A little mm. wine. We can have a several. Ever star, don't, don't touch my smoked ham. Don't what? touch it. I told you not to what? touch hey, it. Hey, 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 what? Hey, but didn't you just tell us that diamond is worth more than one million bolivars, old friend? All you need to do is charge the amount we eat and drink to my friend Evaristo's account. And we can enjoy your hospitality while you take a closer look at that rock. I can't see what all the fuss is about, can you? Huh? You what? You intend to have a feast here based on what that rock could be worth? 
Don't get upset about it, young lady. Sit down. Join us at this party. Would you like a glass of wine? No, 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 sir. If we do discover that rock is a genuine diamond, I want that man arrested because that Mr. Jorge de la Rosa is a lazy bum who's scrounging off people up to no good. He doesn't have that sort of money to give to anyone, let alone to me. I'm not his fiancé or wife, and far less am I his friend. Ah. There's no doubt about it. He must have stolen it. Absolutely. I totally agree with this young lady. Now, would you like a spot of smoked ham? Interested? No. A glass of wine? No. Right. Uh, would you come with me a minute? I'm going to tell you something important, young lady. I've been solving crimes for the longest you time and... Okay, okay, Since I was over at San Jose Guanipo, I wonder if you know it. No. Well, let me explain. According to Articles 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of the legal public ordinance of this district, the diamond has to be handed over to the upholder of the law, which in this case happens to be me. You yes, see? but... Because... Uh, I just can't... No, this diamond is of dubious origin. Also, to even start to bring a case against Jorge de la Rosa, uh -huh. we have to have the evidence in the right hands. Then we can authorize the issuance of a legal search warrant. Well, let me explain I further. Don't need so much. The problem is we need to consume everything in this store in order to press charges against Jorge de la Rosa, the man who you believe stole this diamond. Because if this diamond had never been stolen, we wouldn't be having to go to all this trouble. And furthermore, I have to ask you if you've read the book Four Crimes, Four Powers. Have you ever read that book? Have you? No, 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 no. Please, this is very confusing. I don't know anything about legal procedure. Are you sure you're going to arrest Jorge de la Rosa? Yeah, you can trust the law. Leave the case in my much more than capable old hands. And yeah, you can go and leave us to do all the necessary work to arrest that man. Whoa! The law will see him punished. Please, just trust me, okay? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm gonna do as you suggest. After all, you are the sheriff here, so I'll trust you. That's right, just trust me. Yes. Trust me. Don't you worry. Excuse me. Yes, I excuse you. Well, get cooking. Start to prepare a huge paella. An enormous, Try delicious, it. unbelievable mm -hmm. paella. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, mm -hmm. I took the liberty, while you were busy or starting to, prepare a beautiful feast for you. What's up? You want to see the diamond again? Go to Guyana and get yourself your own one. No, 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 not that I don't trust you at all. It's just that I want to say I was in a bad mood earlier. <laughs> you just go and prepare that beautiful paella. On account. And also, bring us some cheese. Yes, and another bottle right. of wine, too. Make that two bottles. And more types of cheese. Yes, cheese. And I'll take some ham, too. Mm. I'll give you some bread. And another thing. I'd like to By accident. Come this on, is a come criminal on. act. Move these buckets along. Hurry up, people. Work harder. Harder. Oh, come we on. We need more people here. We need more people, man. This is enough. We have to work harder. Kidia. Harder. Kidia, come over here. Well, come on, then, everyone. Work harder. Nothing can beat us. Boss, you Renata, go, Renata. Everything's going to be burnt to ashes. Everything. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not going to happen. However, I don't think these people are enough buckets of water. Well, that's all we've got. I think we should burst the dam. We need a massive amount of water. If we crack it open, this whole area will be covered very quickly and the fire will be put out. I just wish I knew who did this thing to me. Oh, well, I don't think that's difficult. <laughs> Damas Basanta. I just realized this land is municipal land that's burning, not your land, huh? It's that land we took, just kind of took over. On our land, no fire. You noticed? They drove over there. The great bulldozer. Knocked everything down. Fifteen acres of sugar cane. All of my land? No, 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 no. That's the strange part of this. Your land is completely untouched. Nothing's happening over there. It's that bit of land we took over after we had a little bit of business with that ex mayor of Putalana, the bastard Pedro Cifonte. So it's revenge. It's exactly so. I told you. This. I see. This is the work of Radamus Basanta. Of course. He's getting his own back for what I did to him over in La Vanaita. Well, Radamus Basanta knows me well. As a sweetheart and as a furious harridan. He's no idea what he's unleashed now.
I wish I knew you did this awful thing to oh, me. Well, I don't think that's difficult. Who? Radamus Pisanta. Now you realize this is municipal land that's burning, not your land, huh? It's the land we took. Just kind of took over. On our land, no fire, you noticed? They drove over there. Took a great bulldozer. They knocked everything down. Fifteen acres of sugar cane. All of my land? No, 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 that's not the strange part of this. Your land is completely untouched. Nothing's happening over there. It's that bit of land we took over after we had our little bit of business with that ex-mayor of Pantalana, that bastard Pedro Cifante. So it's revenge. That's it, exactly. You got it. I see. This is the work of Radamus Basanta. Of course. He's getting his own back for what I did to him over La Vanaita. Well, Radamus Basanta knows me well. Has a sweetheart and a furious harridan. He's no idea what he's unleashed. <laughs> Mr. Adan, how about calling Dr. Bourgeois? Or do you prefer watching Mr. Hands getting a free feel? I didn't say that we shouldn't call a licensed doctor. What I am telling you is that Francisca has a bone fracture. I know that. Just by chance, would you have any herbs, say like a cockroach plant herb, that I could use? Shh! What's so funny here? Yeah, of course. Shh! Be quiet. Yes, of course we've that here. I'll tell you kids what, you come with me. So next time you won't laugh up when you hear of a plant called roach plant. Now will you kids? Let's go, come on, up you get then. Let's move it out. Be careful, be careful there. Okay, to the right. Be to careful, the, come on. careful come kids. On. There okay. we go, okay. Watch his leg kids. Are you doing okay? How are you feeling? Jorge, Jorge. I thank, thank you. I feel safe with you, thank you. No, please. Thank you so much. Uh, Listen, you deserve this and more. I'm so sorry. You just take it easy. Uh, Make yourself handy. Take these herbs and boil them in hot water. And a little uh, lemon. Go on, I need it now, thanks. Go on. Uh, now let's see. Just a bunch of weeds. They look like weeds. What are they for? Well, these herbs will help cure Francisca. Meet Mello. And our friend Indian Shell. You happy with our lesson? Okay, right here. Honey, take this to Jorge. No, no, to the right. Jorge, here are the herbs. Great, Maria Look how many branches we got. Check them out. To Maria de los Angeles. Great, sweetie. Thank Hurry you, kids. Hurry up, I want to see how mommy's okay, doing. Yeah, me too. Yes, you can, but just a quick visit. What's happened to the diamond, Maria de Los Angeles? Let's say it's in the right hands. I'm sure they'll be contacting you very soon. Here we've laws that we all follow. You satisfy with my lesson? So just as I promised to you, 
Everything is under control. We took a tractor there, and I mean totally, whipped out all the municipality's cultivated fields, and none of our people got hurt. And when we ran out of time, we just burned the rest. That okay, boss? So you didn't touch our land? Not at all. Then we went to the river, just like you told us to. Lit the dynamite, and next thing you know, everything's history. So I bet you, Okidia Cordoba is so full of rage, her eyes are popping out like the devil. You know, I'll have to say, who cares? Now the river flows for everyone in town. As it should be. Anything else? Yes, of course. You know that illegal water pipe that runs into the center of town. Hmm. Let's just say we don't have to worry about any water coming through. Just a quick adjustment and back for the wife in the morning. So then every corner is covered. Boy, that woman has gotten double whammy, hasn't she? Not a word can be said because it was all illegal. True. Now about the other thing. <laughs> Ready. Not a problem. Just say the word and it's done. Let's go then. Yes, ma'am. We were all watching them. It's like I said. We saw Radama's men sneaking in the place. I'm sorry. I didn't know all of this would happen. Please, we're really sorry. What's going to happen to us? Please have a little mercy on us, Mrs. Orchidia. Please, it's like we don't have any other place to go to. What would we do, huh? That is not my problem. The both of you are useless to me. The both of you best be on your way. You sad excuses for intelligent men. Get your butts out of here! Didn't you hear the lady? Get out of here! Now, don't you think you're going to get off that easily? You were responsible for the hired help. Only because you've been like a father to me that I'll let this go for now. Oh, yes, Okiri, I know. Now, about Radames. I want this situation handled in exactly the same manner as before. I want an eye for an eye to show Radames that I'm someone who doesn't just roll over. Is that clear? Did someone die? At a time like this, I would just give anything to see one of those painted and beautiful smiles. Once an ass, always an ass. Thank you, I'll remember that. But I do have news for you. I must admit that this news will make you very happy, Orchidia. It seems that your husband... He's doing very well and has been released from the intensive care unit to his own private room. See, I told you this would make you happy. As the messenger, I deserve a hug. What the hell is this, Radamus? Let me go now! Why are you doing this? Stop that! What do you think you're doing, you dirty rotten Bernardo, scoundrel? calm down. <laughs> Just don't give me any reason to use this on you, huh? Okay, yeah. Go! Okina Cordoba Escalante. Hold still, please. I now place you under arrest for tax evasion. Do you understand? Let's go. I want to talk. Go ahead, talk. Everyone out. Just for a minute. <laughs> well then, Okidia. Hmm? Will you give the gun to me? Or do I take it? Hold it! One sec, one sec. Just wait, please. Alida. 
pay for this, Radamus Basanta. Uh, Elena! Alita, yes, Mr. Bernardo. Take the gun from the lady and give it to the mayor. Go on. Yes, sir. Okay. Everything's the way it should be. Come with me. Okay, dear. Don't force me into treating you like a common criminal. I've never had to before. But believe you me, I will. Let's go. You're such a coward! You should just thank God that I don't have my gun or I'd shoot you down right here! This is not your problem, Bernardo. Trash like you. Only has extreme hate in his heart. Don't tempt me. Because I will not have any pity on you. Old man, you don't deserve it. Why, you little son of a- Bernardo, stop that now. That's an order. You'll pay for this. I'll get you, Radames! Please shut your fat mouth. You're the one to blame for all this happening here. For not using this, you spoiled brat. Try acting your age. And for trusting these two hoodlums. We are not hoodlums! We have this so hard to understand that we have laws in this town. See this lady here? She came down to police headquarters and made a criminal report. So you see, I'm just doing my job so you can wipe that little conspiracy theory smile right off your face. Yes, yes, yes. That's exactly the way our system works. So now we've cleared all that up. We can now be on our way! That's right. No, 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 nothing's been cleared here. Listen up. Give me my diamond. Uh, I want my diamond. Get Give it to me. Hold on, just calm down, down, Mr. De La Rosa. Yes, your diamond. So what about me? Who's going to pay me? Like the paella, the paella that you two have just inhaled. And let's not you forget about it. the cake, shall Come on, this is ridiculous. And the cold beers I've received for everything. And you want the diamond. What about me, huh? The diamond. I say no money, no diamond, then. I'll kill you, you cheap little bastard. Yeah. Wait, stop, 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 stop that. It, stop it. Stop it. Get off me. Don't do it. It has his prints on it. I'm not killing anyone. Hey, little tight ass. Come on. It's okay. So please tell us, how much do they owe? Just a second while I add up these numbers here. It's all written down. Right here. 127,000 bolivars and 55 oh. cents. And if I only oh. get paid in cash or nobody gets anything back at all. I'm holding you responsible for losing my diamond. And for the miserable amount of 127,000 bolivars. Mm. All right, all right. I'll take responsibility for that piece of glass. Just wait here. I'll go and get the money and I'll be back before you know I'm gone. See you soon. Well, how about giving my gun back? Mm -hmm. So you gave me 180 million bolivars for the Venaita, right, Orchidia? Let's just say for only 100 million bolivars more. Our ride to the police station just might turn into a joyride, but I guess that's up to you, right, Orchidia? <laughs> you can just go to hell. <laughs> You've already sent me there, remember? And I didn't like it one bit. <laughs> Hurry up, son! She's coming. I can see her now. That's the woman who stole the lowland. Come on. Now, let's hurry. Come on. Go. Oh, thank you. Hey, hey boss. Carl, don't you think this is getting a little bit out of hand here? They want our blood. Then this ought to teach her a lesson. Don't worry, I'll make sure they don't get too carried away. So then, Orchidia. Have you finally come to your senses to pay me the rest of the money that you owe to me? And ask my forgiveness for all the crap you've pulled? Or keep on meeting the people you've cheated? You can take me anywhere you feel like. You can humiliate me all you want to. But just remember who you're up against. I'm not just anyone. Do you understand me, Radames Basanta? I don't appreciate your childlike games. Remember one thing, Orquídea Cordoba is invincible. Invincible! She's a witch! She's a witch! I'm warning you, she should be burned! Listen, 
to me. She'll easily right. escape from your jail. It won't do any good. She'll get out. You have to burn her. She's a witch. She's a witch. Pedro Adamas, you'll pay for this. You hear her? Get out. Allow me, my little princess. Don't even bother, Adamas. If you touch me, I'll kill you. <laughs> Let me go! Let me go! Are you sure you'll end up on your face? Let me go, listen. If I have to cry tears of blood, I swear I'll get you. Let me go! Witches don't cry, don't you remember? Let Save it! Let me go! Go on, Stop. keep going. Come on, let's go. Okay, break it up. The show's over. Get on with your business. Go on. Why can't you heard the man do it. Come on. Disperse. Go home, all of you. Show's over. Go Go home. I'm telling you, we need to do something right now. Radamus knows that the vaccines were mixed with water. If he's found that out, then he's going to find me out. All right, Pedroso, I understand. Just calm down. Just calm down. Listen, I'll make a few phone calls. Give me a call later. I'll see what I can do. No, you'll do it now. Remember, I was bribed by you to exchange the vaccines with water. And it's because of that, and for that reason alone, that his cows died allowing Mrs. Orquita to buy the Vignetta ranch for nothing. Also, Bernardo, thanks to me, you were able to buy this ranch for almost nothing. So you need to help me right now! You shut your mouth. Don't you ever threaten me again. Got it? No, sir. I'm not threatening you or anyone, Master Bernardo. I'm just saying, the problem is that Radamus is smart. You see, if, if 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 he finds out that it was me, I might as well be dead. I'm a little freaked out. So Mrs. Orchidia has to help me, please. You must talk to her. Besides, it wasn't just for the money. I was returning a small favor. You know I wouldn't do this just for anyone. All right, all right. Very good. I want you to go home and calm yourself down. Drink some tea, or whatever, and wait for my phone call. In the meantime, I'll send you some money and tickets for you to get lost somewhere with your family. I don't care where you go or for how long, just go till things cool down. But remember one thing. Don't threaten anyone about this again, because Arcadia doesn't forget favors. And she definitely doesn't take to threats, right? Okay? Bernardo. Fine, fine. How's your father? Actually, I just got back from Caracas and he's doing better. But the doctors say we need to do some more tests to be sure. Yes, of course. I'll be praying for him. <sighs> Excuse me, I have some business to attend to. Sure. Father and I thank you for your prayers. Bernardo Parales, I know that you don't like my father. So don't think that I don't know what you're up to. What's this? Has she been raising hell with all the old timers down at the retirement home? So what do you think of our old timer, Anita? Well, with that know-it-all look and the bags underneath those eyes, I don't think she'll last too long in this joint. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Sergeant, so what are we waiting for? Mr. Radamis, why doesn't she stay out here with us? We'll look after her. She can't be put in with this crowd. Open the cell. Mrs. Orchidia, this is not my decision. I don't have anything to do with this. Me, 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 me. The same for me. Don't let me go. Do you like this, Orchidia? Because until you've paid back every cent of what you owe me... What is it, one or two million bolivars? Ah! And... 
If you're lucky enough that I don't happen to find out about another one of your rotten schemes, <sighs> this will be your home, Orchidia. Personally, I'd like to see you rot here. I'll get out. The question is, where will you be when it happens? Don't you worry, I'll be around. In fact, I enjoy your company so much, you won't have any problems finding me. Orchidia. Now you know the taste of humiliation. For all of these years, I've lived with that taste. I'm known as the maimed Basanta because of you. <laughs> but as you told me once, it is business. It's all business. And that so-called love thing is something very different. <sighs> but I still do love you. So enjoy this lady's company. Her name is Anita the Blender. <laughs> Wipe that smug little smile off his face. He'll pay for this. He'll never beat me. Never. You may have gotten me this time, Radamus, but you've only succeeded in making me very angry. Immenso, immenso como el agua del mar. Immenso, immenso como el agua del mar. Now this might hurt. I know it hurts, but it will help you get better. Trust me. I know, my love. It's all right. It's... What's wrong, Adan? Come on, what's going on here? Why is everyone so sad? I'll be just fine, right? I'll be okay, kids. Don't worry, it only hurts a little bit. Just a little bit. I'll be just fine. I love Francisco, you all so much. And when you I, get better, I have I, to leave you. I, I, please let me finish. I, let me finish, please. Listen, I'm only a burden to you. I'm just like that old bag of potatoes you picked up. I'm not a man. I can't take care of you, defend you, nor can I help you. You're still young and beautiful and full of life. <laughs> You're still the most beautiful woman in the world. In the whole world, you need to find a young man deserving of your love. The man for you should look after you and take care of you. Instead, you've a crippled old man who can barely get himself around, let alone care for and love the most desirable woman he's ever dreamt of. Please let me go now. Let me go, Francisca. Let me die on the side of the road to feed some vulture. I need you all. Now, how in the hell is she gonna come up with 127,000 bolivars? She doesn't have that kind of money. I just don't understand that mind of hers. What's with her? What's she up to now? Who gets the 127,000 bolivars? Him? That's that guy. him right there. Mm -hmm. uh, um, yeah, yeah. Here. Count it and give me a receipt, please. I can tell already that you're ten and a half short. That's so? Go on. Don't worry. I think it's in my other pocket. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I'll check my pockets, too. Uh, uh, well, it's not here. You're right, there's nothing in my pants. Now, isn't that funny? Nothing in my pants. I made a here, joke. Here, don't worry, I got <laughs> I it right here. Thank you very much. Are you happy now? Well, I am now. And here's the, rec the receipt. The receipt. Okay, now give me the fake diamond. Oh, yeah, here someplace. Here. May I use your bathroom? Sure, no problem. It's straight ahead down the stairs on the right-hand side. You can't miss it. Thank you. You'd better come back. Yeah, I'll be back. Have it, it's good. I will. Eat that bit. You ready to go, Maria? Mm-hmm. 
Nobody's leaving yet. Give me my diamond. I can tell little Miss Know-it-all doesn't think it's real. She doesn't want it. Give it back then. I didn't ask you to give me anything. You expect me to just step aside to someone like you while you shower her with gifts? And on top of that, how about that gift, that so-called diamond, that piece of glass? It's made a fool of her. Listen, pretty boy. I'm warning you. Either you give me back my diamond, or that pretty little face of yours is going to need a new set of teeth. <laughs> well, I better make an appointment with my dentist. I threw it in the toilet. What? Excuse me, sir. You don't tell me you flushed that. Well, you, did, you did. You did. Don't what? tell me you did. What? No. Tell me you did. Tell what? me it's not so. Please, please. Oh, no, Stop no, no, it. No. You're a thief. You'll pay for this. Hey! Stop it! Stop it! You two! Stop it! Stop it! Break it up! Stop it! Break it up! You two! Come on! Why are you always fighting? Hey! You're always fighting! Come on! I'll get the police! I am the police! My children, my beautiful children, they are your children too, right? Done. If you leave me and the children, I'll be dead in three months. Please, Adan. Three months, that's all it'll take for me to die of heartache and loneliness without your love, understanding. Please, Adan, don't leave. I need you. And what about our children? They can't... They can't live without their loving father. I understand. Go ahead. Just, just leave. I Adan, don't do this. Think about our children. Please, we need you. Fine, if this is what you want. Give me the poison then. So I can die now. You're going to leave me all alone anyway, so why not die right now? Now or later, what's the difference? So I guess there's no other way, right? Just go and leave me to die, I beg you! I'm, I'm just a coward. I'm nothing but an old man. But Elvid Elioborness has insulted you. And he still lives. And he's breathing the same air as you. Yes, I'm just a fool. I love you so much. More than life itself. But I have nothing left to give you. I only have the love that's in my heart left to give to you and our beautiful children. Please oh. don't. It's only because of you that the light in my heart is still alive. I'd be dead, Francisca. Dead without you. Oh. oh, my love. I love you so much. Adan. Jorge, my son, has come back to me. And the other one, too. <laughs> And Maria de los Angeles is... She needs someone to look after her. I pray the Virgin Mary helps her understand why she has sent my son back to us. Oh, Dan. Maybe it's just her way of telling us to have more kids. <laughs> I'm so emotional now. But I'm certain about one thing in my life. And that is, I love you more than life itself. My love for you will last a hundred lifetimes. And death itself, death will not dare step in my way for my everlasting love that I have for you. I love you. I love you too. I love you. Inmenso, <laughs> inmenso como el agua. What do you take me for, an idiot? Not for one second do I believe that ridiculous story. I'll tell you what really happened. This gentleman threw it down the toilet and I want him held till it's found. Now, is that so? <laughs> Listen, young man. This here gentleman is Rodrigo Carvalho Caballero. It's all politics. His stepmother's Orchidia. I know. So, I'd be committing political suicide if I ordered this search warrant you want. I can't do that to him. His stepmother would have me for breakfast. All right, sir, do what you want here. 
I'll take this up with the mayor. Mm. But I will find that diamond. Even if I personally have to give that little pretty boy a full anima. Easy, well, you little calm down, little calm down, sit down, take it easy there. And you, Maria de Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. I just hope you remember that you actually called me a thief. Because time will show that the only thief here is that hot-headed pinup doll that's standing next to you right now. Now then, Rodrigo. Now that we've all become like family here, right? How about telling us if it's really true that you threw the diamond? Down the toilet, or did you just decide to keep it for yourself? Hmm? Hmm. I'm willing to allow myself to be searched, hmm. but only in front of Orchidia. That's if she does agree. No way! I'm not sticking my hand up anyone's private parts! No way! You do it! No! Well, who's gonna do it then? Ooh. Ideas? <laughs> You're telling me you haven't been checked out yet? Well, that's strange. How can you be in this business if you haven't been issued your health card? How about the letter's recommendation? What political party do you represent? You don't have one? Look, sweetie, if you're not signed up with a political party, you're totally out of the circle. I'm telling you, the police will find you out. They won't even let you turn a small trick for a bum on the street. Oh, I see you're one of those. I don't get into that kinky phone stuff. The men, they say the dirtiest things to get their jollies off, you know. Shut your mouth. I don't want to hear one more sound out of you. Yeah, she's back here. I'll get her for you. Oh, Rosalinda. So at last you've been put away with the common whores. The nights I've stayed up praying for God to punish you in your ways have not been wasted. But I must admit this place is even too good for you. If it were up to me, I'd have tossed your little butt into a septic tank where your ugly face would be in its element. Excuse me, I'm sorry, but only two visitors at one time are allowed to be with this patient. Father, it's me, your son. Please, if you do hear me, just give me a sign. strength to live. <laughs> Please, Mother of God, he doesn't deserve to be taken away from us like this. <laughs> He's just a man who needs a second chance. <laughs> I'm begging you to spare his life. <laughs> Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is. You're scared, aren't you, Orchidia? You feel like crying. I always thought you were nothing. Not worth even a cent. A cruel murderer and a common two-bit slat. You're nothing, Orchidia. Pond scum! A mistake from birth that should have been aborted. <sighs> you think you're better than me? What about your husband? You're the one who put him on his deathbed in the hospital so you could sleep with my husband. Listen up, lady. Enough with the insults. This girl here is with me. She's my good friend. So whatever the problem is, then it's with me too. Rosalinda, this is not a place I want to see you in. Please go home. Yes, of course you don't want to see me here. I understand. Why let your wife see you with your lover rolling around with absolutely no shame whatsoever? Well, in this town, word spreads like wildfire. And what I heard is you're parading this woman around town for everyone to know she's your lover. Now, Rosalinda... I don't have to explain or get your approval for work-related decisions, but I will this time. 
Mrs. Cordoba Escalante, has been arrested because of the money she owes the municipality for tax evasion. That's why she's here. Huh. So she's not only a slut, she's a dirty little thief as Rodlinda, well. Rodlinda, please go home. Go home now. I'm telling uh, you to go home now. She needs what she needs is a good slap. What did I tell you? Go home. There's nothing you can do here, understand? Don't ever do this to me again. Rosalind. You slut! Rosalinda! You simple Rosalind. little slut! Rosalinda, now! No! Go home. Get going. What does that Miss Goody think she's doing here, huh? This is none of her business. You know all she's doing is using Mr. Vladimir's sickness to get her evil little claws into Rodrigo. You selfish cow, Albert Griselda. I'm so sick of your jealous and childish behavior. This is not the time for it. No more fighting and stop it with your gossiping. Can you do that just for today? Show my father some respect for his pain and suffering he's going through. And have you forgotten that Maria de Los Angeles is my best friend? You can try to respect that too. Andrea, I'm... Oh. You will pay for this humiliation and embarrassment, Maria de Los Angeles. And how you'll suffer. Immenso, immenso como el agua del mar. Immenso, immenso como el agua del mar. Anita, you can go now. Word. Did they call from Miraflores? I told all of you so. I have a lot of special friends in high places. Yeah, you sure did, hey. And be careful with that waitress that you broke the bottle over. You know she's looking for you. <gasps> what? You know that? Now that's not true, Mr. Adamus. I'm a total angel. I'm just doing my job. From the bed to the table with my purse, just looking for clients, and then from the table right back to the bed, and then the whole cycle again. You see, it's a hard job. You can find me at the Crazy Rabbit. They know me there as Miss Gertrude. All right, are you ready? Okay, let's go. It was nice meeting you. See ya. So you know where to find me, don't you? Of course you do. <laughs> Bye, honey. <laughs> See you later. Bring it in. Magnificent. Mr. Adamus, here's the CD player and table you ordered. So what should Sam play tonight? CD3. Romeo and Juliet by Tchaikovsky. Appropriate music for such a special occasion. It's so romantic. Like the mood I'm in now. This diamond bracelet. gift from a slave to his queen. A queen so beautiful, not even a fairy tale or dream can compare. Do you realize, Orchidia, that this is the first time you and I have dined? Alone together. Remember the verse from Andres Eloy Blanco that we memorized as children and how we swore eternal love to each other. Mm. 
I wanted you so close to me. So I could touch you. I was afraid to love you. Loving you made me afraid. How I loved you yesterday. But today I feel far away. If this is how love grows, then how will I love you tomorrow? Please don't do this. It's not that easy, Radames. I know, my love. That is why I'll always love you. Giacomo Palermo, <laughs> the merchant of Palmito and the most prosperous of Guiana. Mm, indeed. <laughs> well, I must say, it's about time you decided to come back here, huh? That's so true, and I agree. And to make sure that good friends like yourselves don't go around spreading awful rumors of how I become selfish and ungrateful, yeah. you are the best, fairest friends I've stopped to visit, and more importantly, my closest and truest friends. And so that is why true. I've come with presents for you both, the way all friends should when visiting, you know? Here, you look. shouldn't have. Oh. Here, I've got it right here. This is for you, madam. Oh, Giacomo. And for you, my good friend. <gasps> Why, thank you so much, my dear brother. Why did you do this, Giacomo? <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Look, it's so beautiful. Look at her, Dan. Okay, let me see. <laughs> look, it's wow, so this glamorous. this is pretty. Oh, it's so lovely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know what to great say. On you. It's, it looks great on you, sweetie. Yeah, it sure does. Just fine. Oh, yes, thank it does. you. <gasps> Take a look at mine. See? Look, isn't it wonderful? It's made beautiful. in America. See, made in America. Given to me by our friend. I think it's time to take off this old thing, don't you think? <laughs> I would think so. Yes, who'd ever believe I'd have a gold watch, Giacomo? So tell me, have you seen our good friend Fredamus yet? No, I haven't yet. It's like I said, you're my first and most important visit since my return, but I'll be sure to congratulate him on his appointment as the mayor of Poinalana. Of course, you know I would have come earlier, but I'm so busy. Busier than ever before. But anyhow, so do you believe it? Now I have a best friend that's famous. I just can't believe the news, right. but he deserves it. <laughs> yes. That's Giacomo right. Giacomo Palermo. You. Do you know who's living here with us? No, not really. I don't have a clue. But you have my undivided attention with that mysterious tone of yours. I know you'll be shocked to hear that it's Jorge de la Rosa that's here with us right now. Yes, sir. It was a surprise. But he came straight to where he should have. Huh? Wow. Good lord, now that's some news. It just goes to show you that our life is like a circle. We must all go back to where we started from, and that's what's happened here. Well, I never... My godfather Giacomo Palermo is here. It can't be. So tell me, Francisco. Now that I know he's here, and it seems that the both of you are more than overjoyed for him to be here, I guess the only question I have is, does Jorge know you're his mother? <laughs> <laughs> 